What's up guys and girls, Lazy Dragon here, and welcome back to the Creators Collection. Yes, those wily creators are back at it again, bringing us all sorts of amazing and innovative games. So let's play one, mocking those foolish mortals. Oh, and would you look who it is? It's Swamp Th C Cthulhu. I, I know who it is. With his great big punchy arms. Yes, that was in the mythos. Fairly certain that's what Lovecraft was terrified of when talking about Cthulhu. Ah, those Elder Gods with their great big stretchy arms. They can reach things on high shelves that nobody else could ever dream of touching. Oh my god, I, I love his arms. I lo he doesn't even lean forwards. The, the arms just extend like he's stretch motherfucking Armstrong. Like... <laughs> He doesn't lean forward or bend, no, he's just Extendo Arms, the latest toy from Hasbro. Extendo Arms, Extendo Arms. Wait, is this it? Is this the great god Cthulhu? Reduced to me making Stretch Armstrong jokes. That's, wow, he's really gone down in the world. Remember those times he would make people go insane? Just from them seeing his face, and here he is with glowy purple eyes, and a really crap beard. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be tentacles or if he just hasn't shaved in a while. If they are tentacles, they're, they're very flaccid tentacles, which, you know, nobody wants flaccid tentacles. If you're making adult entertainment with flaccid tentacles, you may as well just get out of the hentai business entirely, to be honest. What am I talking about? Hey, let's kill some more civilians. Level 2, they've brought in the big guns. Well, one big gun. I, I would have thought an Elder God appearing in the middle of what's probably New York City would have warranted more than one helicopter. Evidently not, maybe they're going through budget cuts. There we go, a post-apocalyptic game that's actually financially accurate. The only people who can respond are those willing to work unpaid overtime. I think that's more horrifying than anything old Squid Face could come up with. Put your hands in the, in the air like you just don't care. Wave them around and pound the ground. Go on, everybody. Do the Cthulhu. Yeah. Do the Cthulhu. Reach for the high shelves. Reach for the high shelves. Reach for the high shelves. Pound the ground. Reach for the high shelves. Reach for the high shelves. Pound. Pound. Pound the ground. This is good. I, I can make up my own little song and dance number. Cthulhu the Musical. I mean, come on, if the Mormons get a musical, then Cthulhu should definitely get a musical. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself, Cthulhu. Why are you hitting yourself? You know, I always wondered what it'd be like to be a pile driver. And now, my dreams are finally coming true. Old Cthulhu. I'm, I'm glad he's the one that brought my pile driving dreams to life, you know? I never would have known what it was like to spend all day every day smacking one random section of road until he came along. Uh, Cthulhu the Wish Granter, that's what they should call him. Oh dear, and it looks like most of the internet's wish has just been granted because Cthulhu has died in an incredibly stupid manner. Look at him sitting there all sad like... oh. He's actually, no, he's not dead. He's just depressed. Congratulations. We've made an Elder God sad. Was that the point of the game? Thank you, Creator's Collection. You, you allowed us to take one of the most horrifying creatures in all of fiction and give him depression. Good going. And the second game in today's Creator's Collection is Space Girl. Because apparently Astronaut is too hard to spell. An introduction. You are Matilda. You've just graduated top of your class of the Academy. Which Academy? Eh, any old one. And you're on your first solo mission to explore a space station. It was supposed to be a simple routine mission. However, whoever built the space station had other ideas. You must find your way through the homicidal station and return home. Matilda. Yeah, if I had a name like that, I wouldn't want to go back home either. I imagine the children were not nice to you while you were growing up. Ooh, well, this is funky. What's that, water? Why is there so much water on a space station? If you wanted to make an 
An underground or an underwater level, sorry. Why didn't you just set the game in Rapture? Why are we in space if all you wanted to do is give us a bath? Oh, I fly through all of these. I got it. I fly through the little... the gates, the barriers. And those, in turn, will in some way help me. Space Scale really needs to get better at this whole planning malarkey. Does not have it down. Ah, oh, then the water flows into the pipes. I get it. It's a plumbing simulator. Doing the job that Mario's been pretending to do for the better part of 30 years. Look at that. Five minutes and Space Girl's already a better plumber than that fat Italian bastard. Well done, Space Girl. I'm not entirely sure why you've strapped a tank of propane to your back. But, you know, we can let you off with a few fashion eccentricities. At least you're doing your job. Time taken, 68. 68 what? 68 macaroons? 68 slaps to the side of the head? Oh, there's more water. Here we go. I'll release that and move that and fly through this and th this whole game about the sociopathic space station. It's not very sociopathic so far. It's just a bit soggy. Did the developers get their S words mixed up? Yay! It all flows in. All flows into the pipe. Should I be sort of clogging the pipes? Or should I be doing literally anything right now? I'm just going to sit here and wait. I imagine the water will tell me if it needs me to do anything new. Yes. Talking to the ocean in space. This is a solid plan we've got right here. Who says that Space Girl doesn't know what she's doing? I like the little animation when she flies from side to side. She throws her arms and legs out behind her like she's on a roller coaster. Wee, wee, wee. I wouldn't do that if I was in space. If I was in space, I'd be holding on to everything for dear life. Uh, gee, space is terrifying, man. I would not put my arms in the air like I just don't care. If you let go, you're just going to end up flying through the void. And then what are you supposed to do for all of 30 seconds until your head explodes? Because that's a thing that happens in space. Seriously, fewer space games, please. Space is spooky bad times. The water's not going in the pipes. I've fucked up here. I thought my witty repartee would have been enough to fool you all into thinking that I knew what I was doing. No. Not in the slightest. Right, if we remove all of these, because the water has to go down, that's obvious. Then, then where? That's flowing down the middle. How do I make it flow to the left? Do I just leave it? Do I leave those two? Yeah, that's working quite well. It seems to be flowing down to the left more than to the sides. Oh, well done, Space Girl, you clever sausage, you. You figured out there are three things to interact with on a level and decided... You know what? I'm not going to touch all of them. Good job. You're making your space parents proud. Is is this all there is? It's just moving water. Okay, space skill. You, you had a chance. I gave you a chance. Nobody can say I didn't. And the third game in today's creators collection is the sheep game. Yep. Looks like one developer did not bother taking the title classes at video game college which is a totally real place. It's kind of like Hogwarts. It's located somewhere in the middle of Scotland. Yeah, let's just play with the sheep already. Hey, oh, go on, dog. Go chase those sheep. Chase them around. Where have they gone? Sheep, get mo Sheep, you swipe. Move. Up. Down. There we go. That's a sheep. What does this do? Oh, I can set the sheep on fire. No, I can electrify the sheep. Hold on. No. Ooh, that's not good. The other players are actually moving their sheep. He's trying to chase my sheep out of the pen, the little shit. Come here. I'm going to go rabid on your ass. That's it, yeah, I see you. you. Stop chasing my sheep, you bugger. Which button lets me maul the other dog? That was a fart noise. That's not quite mauling. But I, I appreciate that it's in the game nonetheless. Give me... That'll do. Where's my sheep gone? 
What is my sheep doing up there? Get off the top of the screen. You're not a fucking pillar box. There we go. Where's the third sheep? <gasps> you bastard. Let me put my sheep back in there. You... I'm fighting in general direction. See so that I won't. Yeah, hear this? Hear this barking? This is going to be keeping you up all night, sunshine. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're scared now, aren't you? Oh, there's my final sheep. What's it doing in the top right corner? Booking a flight to fucking Norway? Get out of there. Get in the pin. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, I'm gonna slam that dog's head in the door. Five, six, sheep, turn the bloody corner. Seven, eight, why are my sheep running away? Nine, ten, a big fat winner. Oh, yeah. That's how it's done. That's how you chase the sheep around these parts. Ready, oh crap, there's more than one round. I, I thought it was a first to one situation. That'll do. That'll do, sheep. That'll do. Is this just the game developer providing all the voiceover commentary? You know, dedication to the game. I like that. Maybe it's not quite as good as Halo's announcer, you know. Killing an air, catastrophe, all of that. Instead it's just some nice chap with an accent going... A lad'll do. And really, that's all you that's all you need when you're herding sheep with a particularly aggressive AI opponent. A lad'll do, sheep. A lad'll do. Once more, once more where's one sheep, two sheep, three sheep. The really bad Doctor Seuss sequel. One sheep, two sheep, red sheep. Stop moving my fucking sheep. Come on, round round the trees. I know you can do it. Sheep slalom. Good job, sheepy. Sheepy alright, you stay put. Sheepy two, round we go. Through the trees, that's it. You haven't got a care in the world, have you? Is, did he just bite my sheep's bum in order to move it out of the pen? That's very rude. Sexual assault dog overlay does not deserve to win. Hold it. There we go. What are you going to do now, eh? All my sheep are in the pen. Oh crap, no they're not. Get back, get, stop. Circling the rim of the pin. There we go. One, two, three. Plenty of trophies for me. So there you go, another fun-filled creator's collection with all your favourite sorts of games. Yeah, <laughs> what a triumphant comeback for the series. I wait so long for developers to come up with new games, and these are the ones I picked. Ah, oh, jeez. There's something seriously wrong with me. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. The Creators Collection will be back next Monday. So until next time, farewell everyone.